I usually don't release videos this late in the evening. However, I saw something today that I don't want to wait until tomorrow when it gets released. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys why I am so incredibly cautious on Bitcoin right now. I have an absolute whirlwind of emotions. We could either explode upwards or explode downwards, and either one is going to happen really, really, really soon. So go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm going to dive right in and show you guys why Bitcoin is in such an incredibly precarious spot. Now, before I show you what's going on right now in the charts, I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring you back in time, and we're going to look at this overall pattern, all right? This is what happened in Bitcoin back in March all the way until May. May was obviously the part where it started to drop, right? However, this entire structure is happening exactly the same right now. So look at what happened back then. We have this four hour breaker, okay? Very clearly established. As you can see, we came up, tested it once, tested it twice, three times, four times, five times, six times. We finally busted above it after trying so hard, got above it, and then utterly failed on the retest because in a bullish market, what should have happened is something like this comes down here and then continues to the upside because this should be a support resistance flop. However, as we can tell, that did not happen. And instead, we fell right through. Now, once we fell through, then we came up for another retest. And on that retest, we failed when we got back to our original breaker, came back up to it, hit it, and collapsed, okay? Now, another thing to take notice on is the extremely low volume that we had on this increase. That's very important, and I'm gonna show you why in just a second. So, as you can see, this is what happened back then. So now let's go back to the most pre recent price action and see what's going on right now. Now, it's a lower time frame, but we're getting the exact same sort of movement. Now, instead of a four-hour breaker, it's actually a weekly breaker, okay? This weekly breaker's been established, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in and show you exactly what I'm looking at. On this weekly breaker, it started right here. We have a tap, a tap, a tap, a tap. We finally broke above, came up here, and then failed on the retest. Just like I talked about before, in a healthy market, this level should have held, and we should have continued going higher. But we didn't, and that's a very important key. We failed on the retest, and what is the price doing right now? It's coming back up to retest our previously lost support level. Okay, now look at this. The volume on the rise, once again, is very low. This is all very, very concerning for me. So just to help show you guys how similar these two charts look, look at this fractal, guys. The four-hour breaker, test, 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 test. All these different tests broke above, fell through. Then we came up for the retest. Breaker established, test, 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 broke above, fell through, going back in for a retest. These charts are uncannily similar, all right? And look at the volume, everything about it. This is this is terrifying, right? Because obviously what happened after this failure was a massive, massive drop on the entire market. This was the last spot before a massive drop that proceeded to go around 50%. Okay. Oh, even more than that. Yeah. 51% drop guys. Absolutely insane. So are we getting something similar right now? There's a very legitimate chance that's happening. And if we do, where are we going to target? Well, my primary bias is going to be one of two things. If we fail right here, we have a chance to go here and then break out. There's a legitimate chance on that. However, I think it's more likely, since this is such a significant level and a significant failure here, that instead we would collapse right through and then come all the way down to the $40,000 region. And if we get down here, will it hold? I honestly think it will because this entire range was a very significant level. All right, this entire range was a very significant level, and this would just be a bullish retest of the entire range, and generally these retests should be okay, and it should be a healthy retest for a continuation back upwards. But the problem is, is that on this retest, we have a 15% drop ahead of us if this was to play out. 
And then not only that, if you go to the total two chart, on the total two chart, we actually have even more. We have around a 27% drop to the equivalent level on this chart, all right? It would still be a healthy retest. I've talked about this in previous videos. Retesting this weekly breaker would be healthy, but a 27% drop is something that really, really hurt a lot of people if they're not positioned appropriately, all right? Um, it would be healthy, but just be aware, this is something that's very possible based upon the indicators that we're seeing. Now, here's the other thing, and this is not all doom and gloom. And actually, there is a very legitimate chance this does not play out, okay? And this is why I think that I'm very cautious, but I don't necessarily think it has to play out. So the primary reasons are, number one, we have negative funding right now. We have extremely negative funding. For how close we are to resistance, there is a lot of people in a short position and they're paying all the long. So let's see how that compares over here. I really don't know. Let's look at it though. So on this retest, we had positive funding. Okay, we had positive funding on this retest. We have negative funding on the current retest. So that right there already gives me a little bit of hope that we are able to bust above it. Now, What's our levels for knowing that we bust above? Well, for one, I think if we do start busting all these levels, you're gonna know very, very quickly. Just like we fell from these levels very quickly, I expect a massive, massive green candle to bust us through the weekly breaker, to bust us through this two-day breaker, and then, of course, to get above the 618 retracement and finally the 702 retracement. If we get above that, our final stop is going to be this three-day level that I can list out right here. And outside of that, smooth sailing. So these are the levels we still have to get above, but this right here is actually a very, very significant level. And if we start getting above these levels, I think it will be very rapid, uh, specifically once we get above the 702. All right, so I know there's a lot going on here and I know it may be scary and everything else, all right? I'm not adjusting my portfolio that much. I think the coins that I'm in right now, I'm pretty confident in. Um, so I'm not adjusting much myself. If you want to go into a head short position, it may not be a bad idea. So what that would mean, if you want to go into a head short position, you want to just have a hedge just in case it does actually drop, you can do something like this, target down here, and then your stop loss would be somewhere around maybe above the 618. All right, that'd be a two to one ratio. Not great. Maybe you want to drop a little further and make it like a three to one ratio. Not too bad, right? The point is, is that a head short position is not necessarily a bad idea, especially if you can get an entry closer to our breaker itself. Uh, but overall, um, I'm not really sure, guys, but uh, what I will tell you, though, is make sure you guys are on the Discord, okay? Because on the Discord, I will be keeping you guys up to speed on what is going on on Bitcoin and the rest of the market. I update this thing all the time, and um, if you're a Patreon member, I will also get you a lot of exclusive access to even more information than what you're going to find on the public Discord, all right? So the gated Discord, the one you have to pay for, also has additional updates on all these different altcoins, and I think it's absolutely worth it. And you can ask people in the comments that there is a ton of value to be got, uh, to be given or gained from being a Patreon donor. So outside of that, I'm going to let you go and, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces, boy.